All right, so I found 17 easy side hustles and all of these are gonna have the potential to get you to at least $30 per hour. So you guys love my last side hustle video. It did really well, got a lot of great feedback on it. So I decided to do another one and I wanna give you a bunch of even better options. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump in with number one on the list, which is selling feet pics. So I'm halfway kidding about this, but all joking aside, there are people out there that actually make really good money doing this. But yeah, no kidding. There's actually a bunch of tutorial videos on YouTube of people showing you how to sell feet pics and make money from it. It's pretty hilarious. Money, 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 money. But even funnier than that is the new NPC TikTok trend. And it's basically these hot girls who act like they're an AI powered like cyborg. And they'll kind of like move around like you do in a video game, like Final Fantasy, for instance. And then whenever people donate Ooh, to their stream, they'll do yeah. some kind of emote. So I'll put an example on the screen in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, strong woman. Fire. Oh, thank you, baby. You get me feel like a queen. Mm -hmm. And apparently that girl, Pinky Doll, is making over $9,000 a day doing this I don't want to live on this planet anymore but yeah uh, all joking aside you know don't hate the player hate the game now she's a great entrepreneur she noticed that there was supply and demand imbalance in the marketplace and she supplied the demand by acting like an NPC I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand why this sort of thing works online but yeah I guess step one be a hot girl step two do something step three question mark question mark question mark step four profit but yeah, clearly you can make it to at least $30 an hour doing this. And it really does beg the question, who is the real NPC? The girl doing the live stream making bank or the thirsty dudes that are donating to her? No. No. Anyways, this one gets a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. And let's move on to the next one, which is mobile car washing. So this is a legit side hustle that a lot of people are doing and having a ton of success with. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You basically buy some gear so that you can wash cars mobily. And then you go to people's houses who are too busy to go to a car wash and you wash their car. And there's an article I saw on CNBC Make It of a 24 year old earning over $5,000 a month doing this as a side hustle. So basically all you need is a vacuum, something like a power washer, cleaning chemicals, and a reliable vehicle to transport yourself and your equipment. And typically, depending on what the customer wants, as well as the place you live in, you're gonna earn anywhere from 20 to $100 per vehicle. So if it's just a super basic car wash, you'd probably earn $20. And if it's a more comprehensive car wash and you're also cleaning the inside of the car, you'd earn more like 100 or more. So as you can see, you could easily make it to $30 an hour doing this. And so for that reason, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is amazing in my opinion, and that is tech setup services. And this is basically where you help usually older people set up technology. And this could be anything from computers to smart TVs, all the way to helping someone set up a podcast. And I know someone who helps set up podcasts that can live stream to a large audience, and they make thousands of dollars each time they set up the podcast. So you could really make good money doing this. And typically you're gonna be charging at least 30 to $100 per hour. So basically you just have to be good with technology or you have to have the ability to figure technology out quickly. So this could be a great one if you are tech savvy i'll give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score next on the list is going to be a youtube channel now youtube is actually the number one most popular career that kids in america want to do when they grow up and i really think there's a lot of opportunity not just starting your own youtube channel but also working with existing ones can't wait to work with you peter and this is something that I've talked about quite a bit on my channel. Of course, I make really good money from the channel itself, but I also know a bunch of other YouTube channels and they are constantly looking for people who have YouTube related skills and usually they can't find them. Things like YouTube operations management, creative directing, script writing, retention editing, and the ability to make really good thumbnails and titles. These are all skill sets that very few people out there have, and there are YouTube channels that are making millions or even tens of millions of dollars a year, and if you could even save them like five hours a week, they would probably be willing to pay you a full-time income. So there's tons of opportunity in what's known as the creator economy. A really good website you can check out is ytjobs.co, and yeah, this is a really good one of course I'm biased but I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 opportunity score next on the list is another type of creator economy career or side hustle or freelance or starting your own business type of thing and that is blogging so blogging has been around for a long time but it's still huge there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of money in blogging this is basically where you create articles that are on websites that are designed to rank on the top of Google and there's this 33 year old mom that made over $760,000 last year from blogging 
and she travels full time on a sailboat with her husband, just traveling around the world. She only works 10 hours per week. So it's $760,000 a year in passive income. So yeah, not only is there a lot of opportunity starting your own blog, but again, you could work for an existing blog. And if you do a good job, you know your stuff, they will pay you really good money for that. So this one, I'll give a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, the way that you rank on the top of Google is called SEO or search engine optimization. And that is a part of digital marketing. And if you're interested in learning more about digital marketing and how to get started with it, and just basically learning all the ropes, my friend Seth actually has a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And he has probably helped the most people in the entire world start careers in digital marketing. He literally has like hundreds of testimonials on his YouTube channel and his Instagram. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on the YouTube channel myself. So yeah, definitely check that out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next on the list is gonna be one of the most common like side hustles slash make money online slash start your own business type of things out there. And that is going to be drop shipping. Now there's a lot of sketchy stuff that goes around drop shipping. And honestly, I've kind of been a drop shipping hater for the last few years. But the truth is there's still a lot of opportunity here. And drop shipping is basically where you find some kind of product that they're mass manufacturing, usually in China, and it only costs you like maybe $3 to buy it. And then you sell it to someone for something like $20. And the thing that makes it so attractive is you don't actually have to buy it until the person has bought it from you. So you don't have to deal with the inventory, the shipping, the logistics, any of that stuff. You just find a product that a bunch of people want and they're not really aware of what the real price is and you sell it to them. Now I'll put an infographic up of some of the most common niches so you can kind of know where to start. And just from the people I know and what I've seen, one of the best opportunities right now in drop shipping is drop shipping directly off of TikTok. So you could drop ship like mini katanas, for instance, by making videos about mini katanas on TikTok and then having a link for them to buy it. That's just a random example. I just thought of mini katanas because I think it's a cool company. But yeah, there still is a decent amount of opportunity here. I also think there is a lot of sketchy people trying to sell you a course on how to do it. But with that being said, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be digital creative. And this is where you get paid to either design graphics, make videos, or just create content in general online and then sell it in the digital world. World. So there are so many different ways that you could do this. I'll just give you one example, and that is selling Notion templates. So Notion is an extremely popular software that you can use to organize your private life. And some people even use it as a project management software. So they organize things within teams and it's extremely customizable. And so what people have done is they've actually created a bunch of templates that are going to be better for you, depending on what you want to use them for. And there's this really popular YouTuber named Thomas Frank, who makes over hundred thousand dollars a month, just simply by selling Notion ocean templates. There's also a CNBC story of a 33 year old that made over $2 million by selling PowerPoints. And there's so many other things you could sell ADHD planners, wedding planners, habit trackers, budget trackers, to do lists, chore charts for kids, bill trackers, vision boards, mindfulness journals, and so much more. And it's all pretty awesome because you don't have to have any physical products, you sell it all online in the digital world. So I still think this side hustle is wide open. You do have to be a little bit creative. If you just do the same exact thing that everyone else is doing, you're probably not gonna make any money, but I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be proofreading. And this is one where you don't really have to rely on luck or start like a bona fide business in order to make money. So the ceiling is gonna be relatively low. You're not gonna make like millions of dollars doing this, but there is a very good chance that you can make some reliable side hustle income. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're basically going to be proofreading written content, making sure that it has good grammar, punctuation, spelling, and style to ensure clarity. And I found this blog post of someone talking about how they earned $43,000 their first year proofreading. And proofreaders in general make about $50,000 a year. So you could get started with this one simply by going on Fiverr. Typically you do want to select a particular niche. So you don't just wanna be a generalist proofreader, you want to be a specialist. And yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be an audiobook narrator. And this is where you read and narrate the contents of a book so that you can bring the text to life through the spoken word. And there's this pretty cool article I saw on CNBC about this 34 year old mom who quit her job as a music teacher. And now she makes six figures and works from her cozy mountaintop home. 
Now you can get started with this one on a website like ACX or Fiverr.com. And at first it can be somewhat difficult to make a lot of money, but once you do a good job, you get a few jobs under your belt, you'll have a portfolio, and then it'll be much easier to get discovered. I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be self-publishing eBooks. Now I have a funny story about this one. I was recently talking to the CEO of a company that basically buys and sells online businesses. And I asked him if you were to start over right now, what business opportunity is the best? And he actually told me that he thinks self-publishing online eBooks is the best business opportunity right now. And I guess the reason for that is because not only can you make money from the book itself, but you can actually sell products within the book. So from the book, you can get people on an email list. And then on that email list, you can sell them products that have to do with the subject of the book. So yeah, a lot of the time people will do this on Amazon because you can self publish. And there's a story of a writer, Amanda Hawking, who basically accidentally made millions of dollars by self publishing eBooks. And she kind of just did it out of desperation because she needed a few hundred dollars. So she published her novel online and then she ended up making some money from it. And then she published more and ended up making a ton of money. So yeah, this can be a really good one. You'd probably start on Amazon and I'll give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next on the list is going to be Airbnb. So I think everybody knows about this one, so I won't spend too much time on it. But basically, let's say you have your own house, you rent out a room in your house, or if you have some real estate, you can rent out the entire place on Airbnb and you do it nightly instead of monthly. And there's tons of stories out there. For instance, the 32 year old who turned the Airbnb rental into a 205,000 a year side hustle. This person who turned a property manager side hustle into $3 million a year business in just four years. So yeah, I do think this one is a little bit overhyped. There's a lot of people who sell like really expensive courses on this, but it definitely can be a good way to make some extra money, especially if you have an extra room in your house that you're not using. I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Next on the list is going to be a makeup artist for special events. So this could be so many different things, photo shoots, fairs, parades, weddings, parties, or Halloween, etc. So yeah, there's a lot of money in makeup. And I believe the YouTuber that makes the most money is in the makeup niche. And they make like hundreds of millions of dollars a year. So there's a ton of money in the beauty and makeup industry. I don't really know much about it, but definitely something to look into. And it can be a good side hustle idea. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be online courses. Now online courses in many cases have gotten a bad rap, but I still think they're pretty awesome. I myself have taken dozens of online courses and they have contributed significantly to my success. And this is seriously one of the absolute best business models you can get into because of the fact that it's so passive. So you literally just create an online course, you create kind of like a sales page and maybe a video to sell it. And then the course itself is just passive. It's almost like the perfect business. And there are probably hundreds of thousands of people out there right now making full-time incomes from online courses. And it's seriously one of the best and most passive business models. And I've tried a ton of different models out there. And this one has to be the easiest one. So yeah, I got to give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be print on demand. And I actually did a little video series recently on this one because I just see a lot of opportunity in it. So this is very similar to drop shipping, where you basically will make some kind of design that you put on a shirt. And if someone buys it, a company will actually make the shirt for you, put the design on the shirt and then send it to them. So they take care of like 95% of the hard work for you. All you have to do is just be artistic and creative and make awesome shirts. And it's not just shirts. There's lots of other different types of designs. You can create, you know, coffee cups. You can do posters, banners, paintings, all kinds of different stuff. And I think there's some really awesome stuff coming down the line in the near future, because pretty soon I think they're going to be 3D printing objects that you can do print on demand for. So there'll be some kind of situation where you can actually create a 3D object, buy that object, and then they'll send it to you with print on demand. So just one example of this being useful is let's say you're trying to come up with a really cool Halloween costume, you could send in your fit and dimensions and create a really cool Halloween costume using 3D printing, and then they just ship it to you right afterwards. So that would be a really convenient way to create an original costume. So yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity for print on demand right now, and there's gonna be even more opportunity in the future. I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is gonna be a tried and true side hustle that I have done many times myself, and that is simply buying and selling stuff, also known as flipping. So this might be the oldest business model known to mankind. You literally just buy things for a low price and then you sell it at a high price to someone else. Buy low, sell high. 
It's that simple. And there are literally thousands of different flipping niches out there. There's car flipping where people buy a car at a low price and sell it at a high price. There's also different versions of that where you might buy a car and then you part it out. So you take out all the parts on the car and then sell them individually online. There's also sneaker flipping where you will buy sneakers and then sell them online. There's Pokemon cards, baseball cards. There's people who flip electronics. Just about anything you can think of, you can flip. And the only thing you really need is expertise in what the actual price of an object is. And there's a story of this guy who grosses millions by reselling clearance items online. And he would basically find products that were for sale at Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us. And then he would sell them on Amazon. So yeah, this is a tried and true method. I mean, it is probably one of the oldest business models. I've made a ton of money doing this myself. It does typically have a ceiling like you're probably not going to become a millionaire doing this unless you really take it seriously but i got to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score next one on the list is going to be dog walking dog sitting or just animal care in general so i'm a huge fan of animals i know a lot of other people out there are as well there's a lot of people out there that have big like reptile collections it's called herping and if they go on vacation they need someone to take care of their animals and same thing of course with dogs and cats and so you can make money by taking care of people's animals animals either by walking their dogs or just taking care of them in general. Now this has been out for a few years so I think a really good thing to do here is to niche down and specialize. So for instance you could specialize in dog walking or you could specialize in feeding reptiles and of course you're going to have to have some specialized knowledge in order to do that. But if you're someone who's really passionate about dogs or reptiles you probably already have that. And there's stories online of dog walkers making over hundred thousand dollars a year and a really good way to get started with this would be to advertise on something like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, or you could even put up flyers around town. Or if there's any groups in your town, for instance, if there's a meetup of people who really like reptiles, you could just let them know that you're willing to take care of their collection next time they go on vacation. So yeah, this one I'll give an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be a site tester. And this is another one where you're probably not gonna make that much money, but you can definitely make a decent amount of money doing this as a side hustle. And basically what you're gonna be doing is evaluating different websites or software. And you're just gonna be giving your opinion on the functionality, design, and user -friendly friendliness of the website. And there are tons of different websites out there that you can do this on. Usertesting.com, TryMyUI, and Userlytics, just to name a few. So overall, I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did make a video on 10 side hustles you can do to earn money that are gonna be a bunch of different ones other than this video. And you can check that out by clicking right here.